Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Veltima Fungicide and Pride Seeds. I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to the Corn School. Today we're going to talk with agronomist Paul Sullivan on the impact that root systems can have on corn performance. Hatchet roots, density layers, we have it all on this episode, as well as tips on managing the seedbed to promote productive vertical roots. Here's Paul Sullivan. So Paul, let's talk roots. Um, how we manage roots during the year, obviously that soil environment they're in is so important. You got four different roots here. I wanna go through them and then sort of take away some learnings from you about how we manage these. Let's start with that first root. Um, you got some hatchet going on there. We sure do, Bern. If we see this root, it's uh, kind of lopsided. The root, uh, for the most part, is growing towards that starter fertilizer band on uh, this one side. We can see the flatness to this root. Uh, when it was uh, planted, soil conditions weren't as ideal as we would like to have them. A little bit tough, uh, sidewall smearing, and we had a, uh, a challenge for these roots to grow and develop as uh, widely as we'd like to have had them. Now your next one, uh, you've got what, what, what looks like to me, you know, a pretty flat root here. Maybe you ran into a soil density layer? Absolutely. Uh, we'll start with the good about this root is that it radiates out around and has captured what it can capture. But if you look at the, uh, we're about two inches depth and it's hit um, a layer that has not allowed it to grow through. So as such, <clears throat> we have uh, one part of it that is good, but it's just too shallow. We're just not getting it down into the uh, depth of soil that we'd like to have a corn root go. Now, Paul, those first two roots you have there, I mean, what, what type of yield impact, shall we say, are we looking for, uh, you know, if we got a field that we, we've run into this situation? A lot of it depends on the moisture supply from Mother Nature um, on this burn. And on this particular field here, uh, we've had some water shortages. So we're looking at uh, in, in the range of probably 25 to, to, to 40 bushel per acre impact on this particular corn in this particular season. Yeah. Hey, next one you got up there. Hey, looking a little better. I, I, I see some more vertical roots here. They're, they're, they seem to be heading the right direction. Yeah, you got more root mass, uh, more going down into the ground but the uh, if you look at these roots there's a lot of fine roots which means that this plant was 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 root system was trying and has put out a lot of fine roots but <clears throat> again it, it it run into down uh, two to three inches <clears throat> a pan that it could not penetrate with the soil moisture conditions that existed and and how that was set up so you know it's 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 a still a little bit less uh, 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 surrounding the root system or surrounding the crown, but there is a, a decent root uh, mass that's there that's capturing as much as, as it can. Paul, let's take a look at that last root you got there. Um, you know, you mentioned that this is probably as good as it gets for the soil in, in your area. Definitely for sure. This is a heavier soil, so we, we, we cannot have a great big massive root system here, but we see that the roots are going down um, uh, to, to a, a deeper depth than the previous uh, uh, roots we saw. So those go to moisture, those pull on moisture from the soil. We have roots radiating around the main stalk, and we still have a little bit of a concentration of roots here, but much more of the root system has gone below that two inch depth that we saw common on the previous uh, three roots that we showed. Yeah. Now, hey, what I'm hearing here is, you know, more and more vertical roots is where you want to go if you can get those roots heading south. Some tips for growers on, you know, how we can get more of those vertical roots than some of the other things you've run into here. Well, there's a, there's a few things that we can do to get vertical roots. First, uh, the main thing is to try to avoid uh, having a tillage layer that is going to restrict root growths that we end up with if, if the soil underneath when we're working the ground, or even if we're not working the ground, those roots grow down, they hit some resistance, they just can't grow through that, especially if it's on the dry side. So we create that with tillage, we create that with um, uh, so, so many different types of tillage that we're, we're using. So we have to watch 
soil conditions when we're we're doing that. Um, roots that uh, are, are in as a cover crop will penetrate that. They'll provide channels to go down in through that layer that's been created so that has an advantage to it as well if uh, those roots are, are are there and and finally just what we have as far as when we're planting if the soil conditions are on the tougher side they're a bit damp if we go through and we have sidewall compaction created on the disc openers those roots will grow out and hit uh, a, a wall that they just can't grow properly on and they do not grow out to a 45 or a 40 like they should. So our planting, our tillage, our whole management of that seed bed is really um, coming together to impact the root development that we have. Hey Paul, I have some tremendous tips. I um, really want to thank you for taking some time and joining us on the Corn School. Again, great, great to be part of it. Thanks again, Vern.